Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. We will continue our coverage of the FTX Crypto Cup that is currently being played in Miami. And today we will go over the second game of the match between Magnus Carlsen, the world champion, and Jan Christoph Duda from Poland. Just to give you a little bit of context here, the world champion was already down one point as he lost the first game of the match and now he immediately wants to strike back with the white pieces. So without further introduction, let's see what happened in this game. Magnus is playing with white and he starts with e4. e5 by Duda, knight to f3, knight to c6, and now bishop to b5 going for the Royal Lopez. Knight to f6, Duda plays the Berlin defense. Now of course the most common move is to simply castle, but Magnus didn't want to go to all these forced variations, and he simply defends his pawn with d3. Bishop to c5, bishop capture on c6, and pawn capture on c6. Knight to b2, d2, and knight to d7. And this might look like a weird move, but the black knight is going to f8, and then he has the option to reroute either to g6 or to e6. Magnus goes knight to f1 with practically the same idea. He wants to put his knight either on g3, goes knight to e3, or maybe goes bishop to e3 and try to exchange this black bishop. Duda goes short castle. And here Magnus decides to go only for the attack and he played g4. And this is actually very risky because now the white king doesn't feel that much safe anymore. Rook to e8 by Duda and knight to e3. a5 trying to expand on the queen side in case white decides to go for long castle. And rook to g1. Knight back to f8 and now h4. a4 by Duda and knight to f5. And here one thing that you want to avoid as black is to capture this knight. Because now white will recapture with his pawn. And you simply now open the g file for the white rook. And now black's position is coming under a lot of fire. So of course Duda avoids this and he simply played b5. Taking as much space as possible on the queen side. Which means now that the white king will likely stay in the center. Because castle alongside now is really dangerous too. Magnus here goes bishop to g5. And now f6. Bishop back to d2. And this would look like a waste of time. But this is actually an interesting idea. Magnus wants black to play this move f6. And the point here is that now white has the idea of playing g5 and try to open up lines towards the black king. And this might actually work, but the problem here, as we're going to see, is that Magnus played g5 too early. And it turned out to be a premature move. Here Duda played king to h8, removing his king from the g5. And now Magnus goes g5. And this is a bad mistake simply because of the next move, bishop capture on f5. Pawn capture on f5. And now black can immediately start attacking the white king in the center with the move e4. You can't move your knight because black then will capture with a check. So you have pretty much to take. And now rook take and king to f1. And now the white king will forever stay here in the center. And it's really hard to hold this kind of position. Do the hair played queen to d5. Pawn capture on f6. Pawn capture on f6. And now bishop to c3. White is threatening a mage on f6. But black simply capture on f5 and defending the pawn also on f6. Rook to g5 attacking the queen. And you cannot capture because of the pin. But here Duda simply gave a check with his queen. King to g1. And now rook to g4 check. Rook capture on g4. Queen capture on g4 with check. And now king to h1. And here all that black has to do to win this game is to simply activate his rook. And also keep this pawn safe. And simplest way to do that is to simply go knight to d7. Now black wants to put his rook on g8 and add it to the attack. Magnus goes knight to h2, trying to swap off queens. And now queen capture on h4. And this is actually a very interesting idea. Black is giving up a piece, but he has a lot of play against the white king. Magnus takes on d7. And now bishop to d6. Magnus goes king to g2, trying to run with his king. Queen capture on h2. King to f1. Queen to h1 check. King to e2. Queen to e4 check. King back to f1. Queen to c4 check, king to e1, and now Duda calmly defends his pawn and he played rook to f8. Rook to d1 by Magnus, now queen to e4 check, king to f1, queen to h1 check, king back to e2, and now queen to h5, and it was in this position where Magnus Carlsen resigned the game. And the reason here Magnus resigned the game is that the queen now on h5 controls the e8 square, which means that black can bring his rook to the attack via e8. And for example here, if uh, black goes king to d2, after bishop to f4 check, king to e1, rook to e8 check, now you have to give up your queen. And the reason is because if you go king to f1, now simply queen to h1 is made. 
okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please if you're not already subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell to get our latest videos thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video